Hello again, this is Daniel Ritchie, developer of Howler 9. I would like to show you in this tutorial some uh, new features that are coming to the program in version 9.1. And I'd like to start with the alpha channel tools. I will select one of the alpha tools, such as the, the lasso. And I'll make a real quick selection. And I'll show you that we've now added uh, a couple of new options to the context strip that were not there previously. Um, some of these options were available if you drop down the alpha channel options and we had the ability to move an alpha channel or flip it on the uh, X and Y axis, but this has been somewhat modified uh, and some options have been added. Um, they of course also been moved up onto the uh, context strip to make them easier to access and more visible to the, uh, the new users. Um, another thing that has changed is the flip command, which now works locally instead of globally. Uh, in the past, this would uh, flip this around the center of the uh, this image, and now it will flip locally around the center of the actual shape that has been selected. Uh, that is one small change that has been made. Um, these features now, uh, now operate pretty much the same as they did uh, from the options panel, but they're more directly accessible. However, there are some additions. Um, previously, we had the uh, add and replace mode, which was here. It, it was one big box across here. It said add, subtract. Uh, instead of replace, you can select that, and when you drew, you added to your selection instead of replacing the selection. And you could use the right mouse button to subtract from it. That capability is still there. But now, for single button users, such as on a Wacom tablet, would, uh, who would only have a uh, one button to work with, um, the stylus uh, button to work with, we've added an, uh, an explicit or implicit uh, subtract button. So now you don't have to have, worry about having a second button in order to use that subtract mode. Um, that's one small thing that has been added. Uh, bear in mind when using the add and, add and subtract mode, uh, it is just the same as it was before. You can do both at the same time, just using the right and left button. So that has not changed. Um, however, one big thing that has changed is the new free transform filter or uh, tool. That has been added just click on that and you get a bounding box around your selection and you can use this uh, to manipulate your selection in any number of ways uh, such as shear and scaling and rotation uh, just clicking inside of this box will give you that uh, that ability to move it around and uh, in the corners there's a, uh, a button to scale this and uh, you can scale in one dimension or in one direction on one axis by using these uh, buttons in the center and there is also a rotation button we wanted the the buttons to somewhat hint at the uh, the function of the button so we made the scale button to be square we made the rotation button to be a uh, circle and then we made the shear buttons to be uh, sort of a parallelogram uh, which indicates that it would uh, do a shearing type of transformation as you see there and you can shear on either axis as well and you can do any combination there in between um, one other thing you can do oops one other thing you can do is I'll load an image and you can not only transform your alpha selection but you can transform the content of the selection so say you need to duplicate part of an image, I won't go through a complicated selection process, but I'll go ahead and just roughly select that, very roughly, oops, I'm still in add mode, I'll do that again, very roughly, and I'll click the free transport, and free fan, free, yeah. free fan, free fan, I'm having a little, getting a little tongue tied now. Free, free, tree frame form, free transform. There, I got it. Button. And right next to it, there's an image button. 
and that will uh, cause uh, free transform to duplicate duplicate the uh, the image that you were working on and you can now manipulate the image in the same uh, fashion such as rotation scaling shearing there's also the option to flip if you right click there's some extra options you can flip that and you can also reset certain uh, attributes of the transformation as needed such as say I wanted to get the original scale I can do that and I will let's flip that again so he's now on the same scale but he's flipped and all you have to do is apply that and that is basically the new free transform I got it filter yeah, in a nutshell uh, something that's really been missing from the program up to this point we have traditionally been a brush based system uh, where all your manipulation of images takes place through a brush but we thought that users would appreciate uh, the ability to use a more uh, traditional or typical for the uh, PC environment or maybe the Mac environment where users have used Photoshop or other types of programs like that they would appreciate the free transform tool so we've incorporated that into version 9 part of the transformation we are uh, attempting to accomplish with the uh, upcoming versions um, hopefully more to come and uh, we'll talk to you again 9 should be released sometime in December uh, you can always check us out on thebest3d.com or my personal website at squirreldome.com and uh, talk to you later thanks for watching